This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, June 1st, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. It's a new month, which means a new theme, both for these updates and the um, worship services on Sunday morning and Thursday night. Um, we're taking up the theme of play in the coming days and weeks as a way to, to close out our year together uh, in joy. We're going to talk about that uh, in the updates over the rest of this week, but I want to start before we, we dive into that uh, with just laying out what the next month is going to look like. On June 6th, we'll have our first uh, full capacity service back at 6300 A Street. Um, so while we will ask you to register, there is no cap on registration. So um, we, would, we would love to have you there um, and as, as many people as want to come. Um, and we'll be talking about play. We'll be talking about why it's important that as we gather together, we do so in joy in the coming months. Then on June 13th, we have our bridging service and our new member um, welcome. We do this every year and, and we're actually going to be doing it for two years um, now because we have members who joined during the pandemic who we weren't uh, able to recognize in person last year. Um, so we'll be recognizing them as part of that service. And then on June 20th uh, is the flower service that we close out our congregational year with. And that will be the, the formal close of the congregational year and our move to summer schedules at the office. Uh, a couple other changes that I'm going to talk about in a minute. Um, and, uh, and for those of us going to the Unitarian Universalist Association General Assembly, uh, that, will, that will follow that week. Um, each of those services, the, the 6th, 13th, and 20th, will be uh, fully open at full capacity. Um, we're going to have some live music as well, which will, be, which will be a nice addition to our time together. You know, our, our year ends with General Assembly. Um, that'll be uh, the last week of June, roughly. Um, and we're going to talk uh, more about what comes after that, but... For right now, I do want to just lay out an expectation for, for two things that are going to change. At the beginning of the pandemic, we were really looking for ways to maintain connection within the congregation um, in an online format. And two of the things that came out of that time in March of 2020 were these updates every day, um, along with daily emails from the congregation and weekly Zoom services. Uh, these are the Thursday night Vespers services that we've been doing since March of 2020. So we've done well over um, 50 Vespers services. I think we're closing in on probably close to 350 to 400 of these daily updates by now. Um, and in both of those cases, um, they've they've really served their role to keep the congregation connected during the pandemic. And as we move into this next phase of who we are as a congregation, we're going to start stepping back some of those pieces as we add on more pieces in person. Um, so starting in July, uh, we'll move these updates down to once a week and we'll move the Vespers services back to, to once a month. Uh, usually on the third Thursday of the year, of the month, excuse me. Um, that'll do a couple things. It'll it'll free up some space for us to do planning for the coming year um, and for us to do more pieces in person. Um, but it will also give a chance to for those of us who support those programs to really take this summer as a time of, of relaxation, restoration, play, uh, so that when we launch the, the congregational year in September, um, we will be fully rejuvenated and, uh, and re ready to, to gather with new ideas and a new way of being together. Um, but we're going to close it out well. We're not, we're not ending today, so we're going to finish out this month of uh, daily updates and, and weekly Vesper services, um, and we're going to have some fun doing it. So with that, I will see you tomorrow.